So, so my question, I guess it's pretty timely because April 15th is just around the corner. So my text te question is really about the government's interest mm. in, in taxes and, it, sorry, the government's interest in marriage, which I think the government's pretty interested in taxes. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, so They're too my, interested in taxes. That's the problem. I agree. I agree. <laughs> so my question is, if why should I not have the right to file a joint tax return? Why should I pay more taxes than a straight couple simply because I'm a minority? How is that not discrimination? Sure, um, and that's a fair question. What if we were to say, why should I not be able to file a joint tax return just because I'm in a thruple or a quartet? I mean, so it seems to me what you're suggesting is that we just shouldn't have the tax code recognize marriage. No, all right, so then you think that we should have same-sex marriage for same-sex couples, but would you also extend marriage equality rights to the thruple? So my question really is why should I, as a gay man, be denied the same, ta the same right to file a joint tax return right. with my potential husband that a straight couple And has. I just wanna, I wanna play out um, what principle you're acting on, because I, I would hope that you're not just doing special pleading, that you want protection for your rights but not for all Americans' rights. So I, I would hope that you wouldn't be saying that you want special tax treatment but I don't care about the thruples. So I wanna see what principle you're acting on. And, and does the principle that you're hoping to vindicate to protect your rights also extend to protect the rights of the thruple? Sure, so I'm acting on civil rights, and so the rights that are applicable to a male and female couple are applicable to a male and male couple, and that's the, my question. How is that not discrimination on the <laughs> yeah, basis so I'm trying of sexual to see, orientation? Well, right, so, so, so part of the answer is that because the same-sex couple isn't a marriage, uh, and so that we want marriage equality to treat all marital relationships in the same way, and given the understanding I've presented of what marriage is, uh, same-sex relationship isn't marital. But I'm trying to ask you about the equal protection argument you're making. Would it apply to all consenting adult romantic relationships? So why would you want the same-sex couple to file jointly for taxes, but not the same-sex thruple, or so, the opposite-sex quartet? Sure, sure, I appreciate that. And that's not the, I, I'm sorry, but that's not actually my question. My question is why should I be denied right. the, right. the right, because, right to so file sorry, Then I'll just, I'll answer your question. The reason that <laughs> you should not have the option of filing a joint tax return is because that's my you question. can't get married. Given but what I marriage is. I can in California, is, I can get given, married. You can be issued a marriage license in the state of California, but you can't actually get married. And, and, I'm, and I'm sorry to say it that way, but given what marriage is, and a how union is that of sexually not complementary, and it's not discrimination because everyone is equally eligible for entering into the marital relationship where you understand marriage as a union of sexually complementary spouses, a permanent exclusive union of man and woman, husband and wife, mother and father. If you're not interested in entering into that sort of a union, you're not being discriminated against. What you're asking us to do is to redefine marriage to include the adult relationship of your choice. And the adult relationship of your choice happens to be a same-sex couple there are other adults who want to have marriage redefined to include the, same, the, the relationship of their choice, which may be the same-sex thruple or the opposite-sex quartet. And so what I'm asking you in response is, what principle are you appealing to when you say this is discrimination to vindicate your rights but not their rights? Because sure. it seems to me that your position ultimately leads to simply the dissolvement of the marital union. Sure. So um, there's other speakers in line, so we can always talk at lunch. Uh, but just, I just want to clarify, you, you just told, I just heard you do not have the right to get married. So if you could tell me why I don't have the right to get married, that would be my final question. Sure. Thank yeah, you. I mean, and so, I'll sit down. I mean, I, I feel like I've, we have five minutes left, so I'll, I'll just say this again briefly. I feel like I've already answered that. It's not that you don't have a right to get married. It's that you, you aren't seeking out marriage. Marriage is by nature a union of sexually complementary spouses, a union of man and woman, husband and wife, mother and father. And just based upon what you've said about yourself, it doesn't sound like you're interested in forming that sort of a union. It sounds like you're interested in forming a union with another man, and that's not a marriage. So that's why I don't think the law should treat the relationship that you want to form as a marriage. Uh, who, who is next? <laughs>